Well, I didn't know them, you know. I mean, I knew a little bit of them, you know. Uh, like I said, I started for Dick the Bruiser, and they, was, they were going to bring me down to the NWA to, for a trial. And Dick the Bruiser said to me, you know, when you get there, you drop your bags, you tell Ric Flair to carry your bags, you know. So I didn't know nothing about ribs, you know. I said, all right, I'll do it, you know. And then Bulldog Don Ken on the way home, I told him, oh, shit, you can't do that. They'll, they'll fire you, you know. Because he, he said, the reason Dick told me that was because uh, that's how Flair got into wrestling up in Minnesota. He was fair carrying guys' bags, to, you know, to the arena and that. But, you know, but, you know, I, everything I've said about Flair was, you know, it's been documented. And everybody thought it was like, oh, it was a personal thing, you know. It's like... No, go on ESPN.com, go to Grantland, you know, you find out what a piece of shit he really is, you know. I mean, it's, it goes into in-depth more than what Wahoo or anybody else told me about him, you know. Yeah, I mean, everybody thought him and Wahoo, Wahoo brought Flair down into the NWA, you know. So, you know, Wahoo felt like he at least owed him something, you know. But he never, you know, returned a favor when Wahoo was older, he wanted to still get in the ring every once in a while and Flair wouldn't, you know, but he treated everybody like, a, you know, thought every guys that owed him a favor, he treated like shit, you know, he did that to a lot of guys. So Flair, uh, one of the reasons he left WCW was Jim Hurd, were you around during the Jim Hurd era? Of yeah, yeah, I like, I did, I got along with Hurd, you know, and one of the funnier things Hurd said to me was like, Shit, I'm the same age as Ric Flair, but I look, I look better than him, and he did. He looked better than Flair, you know. Flair had saggy skin, and 